Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty. I finally went back to camp, and we're going to deal with all of the gifts all at once, as much as we can. And then we'll get back to where we were supposed to be going. So, um, I have a list of gifts from the wiki in front of me on my phone. One of them for Alistair is the Joining Chalice. I'm recording this in case anything special comes out of these gifts that I give to them. So, here's hope then. Otherwise, I won't even bother putting this into the episode. <laughs> so, here we go. I could get used to this, you know. That was nice. Alright, that was pretty nice. And he also apparently likes statuettes, which we have a decent number of. So, statuette for Stone Dragon. Is that for me? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm... Wow. <laughs> okay, I might actually keep this episode uh, together just because I'm loving the reactions <laughs> that they're giving. Okay, um... Onyx Demon Statuette. Is that for me? Really? Wow. I'm... Wow. Ow. Oh. Some of these are cute. Okay, Black Runestone. That's one for him. Is that for me? Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm... Wow. All right. And I think that more or less exhausts the ones for him. Yeah, that exhausts all the ones that he can get, near as I can tell. Okay, um, other gifts, other gifts. Um, we got dogs <laughs> for Piff. We've named Piff. Um, he likes bones, which is obvious, and to be fair, he's already at full, so it wouldn't really help all that much. So I guess we'll hold on to that one for now. Uh, Leliana has a preference for holy symbols of Andraste as well as shoes. Wait, she likes shoes. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. So like any woman. Uh, <laughs> I really shouldn't have said that. Oh, they're going to come for me in the comments. They're going to kill me. Um, I guess no shoes. I don't have any shoes, really? I could have sworn I did. That's weird. Silver Sword of Mercy? Some of these I don't... I don't recognize. Oh, wait. I do have that. Silver Sword of Mercy. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome, darling. Ah. Morgan has a preference for jewelry. You're kidding. You're kidding. Well, I mean, makes sense. She's like any goth, really. Bunch of jewelry. A bunch of jewelry. Okay, I can do that. A Flemeth's Grimoire? Really? What? I'm reading some things off of the wiki, and I'm baffled at some of them. Um, Silver Medallion, I have that. I am grateful. Tis thoughtful indeed. Well, thank you. It's finally something nice out of her. Uh, anything else do I have? Silver bracelet, but it's not showing up in her list. Um, silver demon head ring. That's also not... She had gold demon pendant listed on here, though. That's weird. Um... Not seeing anything else for her. Now I'm seeing other people's names that I don't know. Shale, I can do that. Easy. Uh, do I have anything remarkable? I could have sworn I had some remarkable things. I could have sworn. No remarkable gems. Damn. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. For. Den. There we 
go. Um, I guess. Oh. I don't have anything for Sten. Damn. Okay. And then there's another one who I don't have yet. Uh, Zevran. I already gave him some of this. And then the rest of it is just... Mm. And then it's telling me there's a secret companion. And then generic gifts from here on out. Okay. Painted Skyball, I guess, is one of them. So. You have excellent taste. I don't know about that one. I'm not sure about that. Um. Interesting. Is it now? What do you think about this? Interesting. Uh, how about? Yeah, I didn't see anything about this silver demon head ring, so... Interesting. Well, as long as it's working. It's working slower and slower, but it's working. And that's all I care about. As long as I'm getting them out of my inventory. <laughs> uh, Tangled Ball of Yarn. I have, an in I have an idea for that. And... Why don't we try to get Sten up a little bit? I don't know. Oh, there's a lookup table. <laughs> I should have just gone with this already. Okay. Um, look up this item here. Oh, that goes for a specific person I don't have yet. Okay. Um... This is all alphabetically listed, too, so jumping around is going to be a pain. Uh, yep, this nut. This is for someone I don't have yet. Um, Jesus. I'm just going to take forever. This is the this method I'm doing. Uh, the search for the true... Okay, that's for the character I don't have. Alright. Um... That's for the character I don't have. Uh... Hey, at least I got most of it. At least I got most of it out of here. That's the important part. Okay. Uh, in regards to Sten and weapons, maybe? He's already wearing that. Um... Is this better than his current one? The Dwarven Helmet does have physical resistance. And his is just mental. Uh, I'm willing to just put that on him and then sell this. Okay. At least we're getting somewhere. At least we're getting somewhere. Um, oh, he's already wearing duster leather boots. Oh, um, <laughs> he's already wearing duster leather armor. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. I got stuff he's already wearing. <laughs> God damn it. I completely forgot he was already wearing something like that. Oh, damn it. Okay, um... Maybe I can pull... Can he? Yes. Yes, he can. Uh, the physical resistance isn't that much of an issue. That's fine. I can... I can get rid of this. Uh, kind of. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. And then...
Wait, what? Fallon Dean's Reach? Is he... Is he not able to wear that? Why wasn't that in my inventory all this time? That's weird. Um... I don't... I'm confused now. Okay, anyway. I guess it doesn't matter in the long run. Um... Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Um... Mixed metal rounds. What the? It's a weird thing. All right. Ow. I equipped him with the steel axe. I could have given him something better. Okay. Okay. Well, I did the gifts thing. That's the important part. So I'm going to end this episode here for right. Well, end this episode. End this segment of the episode. Tack it on the front of the next episode. And then. We will go from there after. So, give me a second. I will be back. Hey there, guys. I came back here. Um, I'm a little further than I was uh, when I had initially paused the episode to get rid of the gifts. Which, as you can see, got rid of a significant portion of stuff. Um, sitting at 57 out of 80. Not ideal, but not terrible. Um... <laughs> might be wondering why where we got the long runner's cap uh you may be wondering a, a good number of things as to why uh <laughs> some people have different equipment now um not not drastically different but different um see here's what happened uh i paused i did a feature with obs where i paused the recording and then got to here. And then forgot to unpause. Oops. <laughs> I got to here, though. We haven't progressed past this door. We haven't done anything. But everything in this area passed <laughs> where we last were. Which I think was in here. Everything we got rid of. All of the junk and whatnot we could sell here. And, uh, did all the enemies and whatnot in this area. So, this area is, like, completely cleared. Uh, <laughs> killed all of these guys. Oh, there's those, there's that noise again. These things that don't attack me for some reason. And those things that also don't attack me for some reason. I think I've looted all of the chests available. Yes, I did. Okay. So, there's that. That's where I got the, uh, what was it? I forget what the name of the thing was. Uh, Long Runner's Cap. That's where I got that. And it's probably for the best for some of my arachnophobic um, uh, <laughs> viewers, which I know there are a couple. Um, that I did this section prior to <laughs> actually figuring out my mistake. Because, uh, there was a whole bunch of spiders that descended upon me in here. So, yeah. There's that. Um. <laughs> I'm just annoyed because there was a whole bunch of commentary I was making throughout all that section and it's lost to time because i forgot to unpause the recording because i'm stupid so here we are um we are right here at i presume the main baddie's entrance because every time i walk towards the door it saves so i'm assuming this is the big bad i'm assuming this is where jarvi is sitting i'm assuming I don't know. I don't know nothing. I'm just assuming. Yeah? 
Yeah, that looks like where she'd be sitting. Also, I see one, two, three additional people that I would have to fight. Oh boy. Um, let's make let's Alistair take point, shall we? <laughs> there we go. And so Balin finally realized his throne means nothing if he can hold it. Yet he still doesn't bother to send his own men. Of course well, not. You picked the wrong side, stranger. It doesn't matter who's king, as long as there's a queen. As long as there's a queen. Oh, you mean you? That makes sense. You're. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the proportions of dwarves and. <laughs> her proportions are just weird. I don't know if the armor is making it look worse than it is, but it just looks weird. I don't understand why I find it weird. It just looks weird to me. Because, uh, I don't know. Surrender, and I'll spare your life. Hardly convincing when your blades are covered in my men's blood. Well, Kill them! But leave the mouthy one alive. I have plans for him. Oh, really? Do you now? Whoop. What? Oh, yeah. I'm on. Yep. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> That's what the problem is. Oh, and Alistair's now. Fantastic. Okay. I know you do. And, oh, man, now I'm dead. This fight went poorly. Because I forgot that I was on... I forgot that I was on her. Not her. Uh, I forgot I was on Alistair, which makes the fight a lot harder. Hey, that worked out beautifully. Ish. I mean, it's not as well as it could be. And going to die. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> this is why the game saves for me. <sighs> Let's try this again, shall we? Because it auto saved with me <laughs> in the lead, I'll get just. So you can get off my back. Okay, calm down. Alright. I'm gonna do this again. So Balin finally realized his throne means nothing if he can hold it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Side, stranger, yes, 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 yes. It yes, doesn't yes. matter who's king, as long as there's a queen. You're awfully cocky for someone whose entire carta is dead. I might as well just go this route. You'll pay for their deaths a hundred times over. Kill them, but leave the mouthy one alive. I have plans for him. So it goes the same way either way. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Okay. I need to not die. Please make sure I don't die. How about we do that? Okay. I'm stunned and dead now. Great. Well, that worked out a little. You need help, huh? Okay, well. For once, Alistair might survive this fight. For once. For one significant fight. Up, oh, and now I'm sapped. And now I'm dead. And I'm dead. Fun. Okay. And I'm going to die again. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. This shouldn't be that hard. But it does seem to be that hard. So let's try this again. And again. And again. Until we're all dead. Or until they're all dead. That's probably the better order for that to go. Anyway, moving on. 
So Balin finally realized his throne means nothing if he can hold it. Yeah, he yes, 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 yes. You don't have to fight, you just want to talk. Kill. Yep, nope. You don't believe me, that's fine. Okay. They're stunned. Good. Thank you for the heal. I need that. As long as I keep getting heals, I should be fine. Key phrase, I should be fine. No guarantees on that. And he's dead. Okay, come on. All I need. Okay. And I'm stunned. Fantastic. Let's get a little extra heal. Pretty teeth, huh? Well, if you attacked faster, wouldn't be an issue. Oh, I had a feeling. There we go. Oop. Need to attack the assassin, because otherwise I'm going to die. Okay, let's attack this assassin now, because otherwise my buddies are going to die, and that's not going to help me. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm, not, I'm going to die unless I do the, all of that. Well, sorry, Alistair. I <laughs> didn't want you to die, but then again, she seems like a pretty competent rogue. So, I mean, that was going to be an issue, regardless. Well, this time we survived, so there we go. Yeah. And then that. There we go. And I think the other sustained one that's good is for that. So let's yes. do that. Fantastic. All right. And then we move to me. And now I loot. Whoa. Another long runner's cap. Pushback strikers. That would explain why she was doing so good, maybe. 5% melee critical chance. Yeah! That was a tier 7. Yeah, no wonder. I was dying so much. Oh, boy. And more long runner's cap. Stamina regeneration in combat. Eh. That isn't bad. And the... Uh, hmm... It's still hard to beat my Helm of Hanleith. It's still hard to beat. But I, give, I could give that to someone. I just don't know who. Uh, greater Injury Kit. Uh, and speaking of that, I uh, need to give him an Injury Kit. Not a Greater Injury Kit, nor even a Normal Injury Kit. Just a Lesser. There we go. Now he's good. And now we loot Dibadez. Spirit Shard, huh? Fire Crystal. Money. Money. Deep Mushroom. There was a thing I needed Deep Mushrooms for, wasn't there? I think there was. Oh! Ow. You couldn't have told me about that? <laughs> Trap right ahead. Thank you, Leliana. Thank you for that now. Spiked Maul. Okay. Uh, I still have plenty of room for it, so why not? Let's open up this metal door. Well. Let's get Leliana on these. Dwarven heavy gloves, dwarven armor, and a love letter. A note between wealthy paramours. And a whole bunch of these. Next. Codex updated. Oh, this is for the correspondence. A collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled wealthy and their objects of obsession. 
objects of obsession, you say. My darling Reginald, I burn for you, and because of you. Please use the enclosed tincture if our love is to endure. Okay. To Warreth Lowstone, age, race, height, I care not for the differences others perceive, but matching your helmet to my tunic for the amusement of standing in line with your new silent sisters invited attention where none was desired. I will not suffer your company again. Okay, gonna miss knocking heads with those girls. Okay. Dear Sir John, your ministrations, while well-intentioned, hold no promise. Do not despair, for it is not you, it is of me. I require an interval to acquaint myself with the personage you awakened. I'm certain we can maintain an amiable accord, and that engagements with our mutual associations will not be awkward. <laughs> Look, it's it's not you, it's me. It's me. I just I just need find I need time to find myself and <laughs> I, I'm just hoping we won't it won't be awkward. Horatio <laughs> Christ. Okay. And fancy vase. Yay, something new for me to sell, which those are those are supposed to be sold. I I found that out too. Those are supposed to be sold. I'm an idiot. Those are supposed to be sold. <laughs> Ooh. Right ahead. Is it? Is it right here? Maybe. Trap right ahead. Is it the thing that maybe you should have told me prior? Huh? It's done. Good. Oh. It's just a way out. It is just a way out. Looks like anyway. Cool. Well, in that case, I'm gonna make sure I loot this place. Oh. The entirety of this area was trip-wired. Jarvia, you little minx. Well, good thing I didn't close in and decided to focus instead on the additionals. Because otherwise, that could have gone badly. Very badly. To be fair, I mean, it didn't go well, but it could have gone worse, I guess. All right. Okay, Carta Shop. Wait a minute. Oh! Ah, by all the beards of my ancestors, how did you? Where did you come from? You made a hole in my wall. That hole leads to a tunnel in the Carta's hideout. It, it does. Oh, sod it. If people find out about this, my business will be ruined. They'll think I have something to do with Jarvia. You didn't know about this? No. I don't have anything to do with them. They're criminals. Well, that's good. When they built this part of the city, they must have built over some tunnels. I swear, I had no idea. Oh, just leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with this. And if anyone comes asking, I'm going to tell them you get it. Okay, that's fair. You again. Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of wrecking another part of my shop? Well, I mean, do you know what's happening with the king? I stay out of politics. It's not good for a smith to get the attention of those who grant vendors licenses. Fair point. Lord Harriman's a fair man. My father did business with him, and he always paid on time. But the Idukans have served us well. If it is the ancestors' wisdom to keep them on the throne, <laughs> I cannot object. Fair enough. Uh, let me see what you got in your store. Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Well, that works for me. A lot of silverite I'm noticing as well. Well, I'll sell this since I don't need it. Um, Dwarven large round shield. Pretty sure that's, yeah, it's already what he's using, but this is dragon bone. I only just noticed his dragon bone. Jesus. Uh, it's not good enough when compared to Kaelin's shield. Which I need to get him in at some point. The missile the missile deflection, the defense, and the extra armor, and the chance to avoid missile attacks. It's it's, it's a done deal. It absolutely needs to happen. I need to get Alistair in Kaelin's stuff. Because otherwise, 
<laughs> He's just gonna keep on dying. Uh. Okay. So, next. Whoa. Heavy Dwarven Helmet. And Dragon Bone. Well, I'll sell one of these. Because I don't see needing two of them. Dwarven Heavy Gloves. Dwarven Heavy Boots. Heavy Armor and Silver Right. Let me see. This is in Viridium. Viridium. These are in silver, right? That I can get. It gains a bonus to armor. I can wear them. Uh, the extra armor is nice. Rock knocker. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Mm, I really want to. <laughs> I really want to. Gloves of diligence. Um, hmm. I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted to get all of that. Uh, well. Sell the fancy vase. I uh, should probably hold on to these two for reasons I don't really think matter. Um, sell all junk. That's good. Wasn't sure what junk I could sell. Oh, the duster leather gloves. I forgot I had those. Duster leather boots. Normal dwarven armor. I don't really need this anymore, so I could sell this freely. It it's so very tempting. It's just so very tempting just to get the whole silverite set of heavy dwarven armor. But then it's just adding armor to me. And it's not giving me any, you know. No well, armor would up my survivability a little bit, wouldn't it? Mm. Mm. Screw it. Screw it. We'll do it now. And damn the consequences. And I don't need the dwarven dragon bone massive armor because there's no point, at least right now. Because I don't need that much armor. As it is, I'm already pushing it. With the armor I got. Maybe I could give the chainmail to... Maybe. Maybe I can. Okay, dwarven... Heavy gloves. Dwarven... Heavy boots and dwarven heavy armor. Oh, look at me. <laughs> I look so shiny, except for my fucking helmet. <laughs> my helmet is like the least shiny part about me. <sighs> oh boy. All right. Well, let's swap to Alistair and let's see. And give him the heavy chainmail gauntlets. He's already in heavy chainmail. <sighs> He's already in heavy chainmail in Viridium for that. So might as well give him the boots too. Which is steel. Which is not much better than his current one. But it's not much worse either. It at least lets him get the bonus set. Which is, you know, okay. It's good enough. Okay, this gives resistance, but this gives regeneration in combat. <sighs> but it's slightly weaker in armor, but then it doesn't have the fatigue issue. Mm. Call it good. 
We'll call it good. And I guess I'll junk that and junk that. I might hold on to that for nothing. There's no reason. I don't think there's anyone else who's warrior. Or at least warrior enough for me to worry about that armor on them. Okay. I'll hold on to this because I think I put Zevran in that, if I recall correctly. I... Sure, I'm not recalling correctly, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Leliana. Ah, she has fire arrows there. Perfect. Wolf killer, iron bark. Okay. And then her other one is white wood, which is tier four. That rapid aim. Okay. All right. That's fine. I think that's fine. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Okay. Cool. And he's still so far away from level 12. Uh, and I'm at level 13. <laughs> I feel bad because I keep... he I keep having him die on me. Even though I'm not trying to let him die, he keeps dying anyway. And I feel bad. Oh, man. Alright, well, now that I've done that, you know what? You know what? Let's talk to my people now that I've given them gifts and whatnot. I haven't talked to them in a while. I have heard much about the halls of the Dwarven Kings, but the stories do it no justice. It is so strange, harsh, yet beautiful. Yes, it is very grand. And have you seen those tiny pig-like burrowing animals? They are adorable. I wish I could have one as a pet. Oh, the nugs. It must be hard yeah. to catch and... Oh, just ignore me. I'm so silly sometimes. Let's just go. Oh, it was, it was adorable listening to. No worries. What Morgan. do you wish of me? Uh, like to discuss something personal? We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. Why are you still here? I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. No. Then I assume our discussion ends here. Oh, come on. I just asked that question. That seems rude. I'm going to fix that later. <laughs> but I want to talk to Alistair to see what he has to say. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Okay. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. Look someone up? You have a friend outside the Grey Warden? I'm not talking about a friend. Exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. Okay. The thing is, I have a sister. A oh. whole sister. Mm -hmm. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. Oh. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive. Oh. In Denerim. Have he contacted her? No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. Mm -hmm. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Hmm. Huh. What are you expecting she will do? I'm not sure. I don't know anything about her except her name and where she lives. Okay. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. 
that it is that it is absolutely so i'm gonna redo all of that <laughs> it's a little safe scummy sure but just asking a question of morrigan should not immediately mean that i'm losing everything that i've gained with her that is dumb and i hate it so i'm gonna do all that again hopefully this guy is still carrying the same armor in fact, I'm going to save before I do that <laughs> save scummy thing. I'm just scumming it up. Don't worry about it. But as it is, it's already near the end of the episode. So I will do all of that and I will see you after I get all of that done. So thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and doing my damnedest to get through this game without pissing off my party members and apparently failing at that. But also trying to help um, Alistair get connected with his half-sister and taking care of Jarvia. A uh, little goof up in recording along the way, but we got rid of Jarvia. That's the important part. And we'll see if we can finally get King Balin, well, make Balin king, I guess. Something like that. I lost the plot of what I was saying, but you get the point for you. <laughs>